Too loud. Too loud. was a quick so I, I work at home today and my first break I ran down and grabbed breakfast and my second my first lunch I get two lunches half hour each you don't give me the camera I look like a potato I look like a potato anyways I do, I look like a greasy head potato. you're hilarious uh so I took a shower I did not wash my hair because I don't need to but I did jump in, I shaved my legs and cut cut my knee. Ugh. Where are those other Ugh. 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 Ugh.
or something that's gonna cook food. So you think it, hey, maybe we could look for, how was your first day work? It's good. Yeah? yeah? He got mauled a lot is what he said, right? Yeah, I got lots of hugs from all of my favorite people there. And what about the doc you don't like so much? Did he hug you? Nope. Did you want a hug from him? He didn't even know. I... Did he know you were there? Yeah. You saw him? Oh yeah, we made eye contact and he turned down another hall. What an asshole. Mm -hmm. Dude, I hope he I hope he has diarrhea. Explosive diarrhea when he's in surgery. I'm not worried about it. Before he cuts into a patient. I'm not worried about it. It doesn't matter to me. You have to work with him. Maybe not for much longer. We don't know. I I hope that when you're working with him that he just happens to get explosive diarrhea and has to cancel his case. You're, you're mean. That's what he gets. Karma's a beast. Did you know this? Yeah, I know karma's a beast. I like karma sometimes. Remember that one time someone got flat tire? <sighs> karma is a beast. Tell me your karma story down below. Have you had ill will done to you and it made you mad but you didn't have to do anything because karma did its job? Tell us the story down below in the comments, okay? I want to know your story. <laughs> Y'all want to hear a funny story? I'm going to tell you a quick funny story. It won't be long at all. I went on Twitter and there was a friend of ours, family, not family, uh, vlogging friend of ours. If you know vlog epicness, he posted on Twitter something about, do you know how I can save 15% or more on my car insurance? And I uh, stated something about how Geico can only rip you off. I'm going to share a quick story real fast. Um, remember my Buffalo story? We had Geico insurance during that Buffalo story. And basically a year, what was it? A year and a half of struggle. I had $150,000 coverage on my body, my body alone. And they paid 15,000. They didn't even pay that. In fact, I needed surgeries. I needed leg physical therapy. They fought me tooth and nail. Um, I ended up a year after PT. I had shoulder surgery. Remember the shoulder I dislocated? They refused to pay for the injections I needed so that I could move my arm. Yeah, they refused multiple, multiple procedures that I needed. And so, yeah, not only did they refuse all those things, all those things, they would, some of those things, like the surgery, they stated that um, was approved. And then after I had the surgery, Night. Night. After I had the surgery, they flat out declined it and then refused to pay for what they claimed that they approved. Yeah. That's Geico for you. Yeah, but then explain what happened on Twitter. Okay, so anyways, I'm going to post the picture right here. Boom, right here. All right, did you see that? All right, so here's the thing is, yeah, I put in there, um, yeah, they're good unless you need them. 150000 if they claim that you, they think that you need it. They pretend to play doctor, and they refuse to approve the doctor's referral of what needs to happen. Yeah, so with that being said, <clears throat> I didn't get hardly, in fact, our credit is kind of garbage right now because of a lot of the medical procedures that had to be done through the year and a half. The only thing they did approve was my physical therapy. That was it. Physical therapy on my legs from being crushed. Physical therapy on my arm or my shoulder from being dislocated. And they paid for the physical therapy after my surgery, but they refused to pay for the steroid injections into my shoulder. They, for, they refused to pay for the... Um, ultrasound that was needed to guide the needle into the right portion of my shoulder. 
they refused to pay for all of that, even though I had $150,000 to pay for it. That was our claim. We paid into our insurance and they refused to pay our portion. Anyways, isn't that hilarious? So anyways, because I told Geico on, on Twitter, I was going to tell the little blips of whatever. Yeah. So anyways, they're like, Ooh, send us your, your claim number, dude. You know how many claim numbers there are that y'all at freaking declined. No way, man. So, um, I went on in message. In fact, so I'll save these two and they're like, Oh, give me your, give us your name and your claim number. Do you know how long I went back and forth between the adjuster and the adjuster supervisor to try to get things approved and they refused to approve them? Be careful with Geico, you guys. If you have Geico, don't get in an accident of any kind because you won't get the coverage that they claim to give you. Bad news. I would never go with Geico again. In fact, I would actually discourage it as I'm doing right now. No, in fact, um, hey, in fact, I'd like to ask Mark, the Geico representative. Do you know Jake from State Farm? Yes. Stay limony and awesome, you guys. Have a good night. <laughs> Bye.